Water babies, welcome to Mocha Love Tarot. If this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. Um, I'd like to thank all of my like, shares, and subscribers. Everyone who shares my videos, who likes, who comments, who dislikes, who like, I love all y'all, okay? Because you took time to think about my ass. Thank you very, very, very much for that. Um, I've been sitting here with y'all reading in front of me for every bit of 20 minutes. As a matter of fact, I started to do y'all reading last night, and I got as far as Cancer and Scorpio, and I just couldn't speak. It's like I had a feeling in my gut that I had something to say, and I was sure of the fact that I had something to say, but I couldn't speak. I mean, I don't know what was going on. I don't know why the babies of y'all can't speak right now. I do see with all, amongst all three of y'all that... Y'all are going through a hell of a transformation and awakening. And um, it's a lot of clarity, clarity to be had um, about yourselves and amongst the people who are around you. Um, the things that you believe to be is true. And the lessons, the blessings that came out of some of the most tremendous Lessons. You got the rain before the rainbow. Okay. And a lot of y'all finna really run into y'all pot of gold. Okay. A lot of y'all striking gold after this. Just know and tell yourself through all this crazy shit, you finna strike gold. Right. This is um, general readings from the 15th of May to the 31st of May, 2018. This twin flame soulmate season, y'all, you got to give something to get something. I know y'all see me breathing out hard because y'all energy is so heavy. But I'm mocha and I love y'all, so we're going to push through it because I'm solid as a rock, so we're going to get it, okay? All right. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. Again, this is general. Don't send me no crazy-ass emails because I ain't putting shit for the rest of 2018. Y'all know I bite back, okay? Don't do it. Y'all steal my babies. I get the build on y'all and stuff. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Somebody please timestamp these videos. It's crazy because this morning, because I could not get that, I couldn't speak the way I wanted to speak. And I'd actually saved the other video. However, I got down, got ready to sit here, and I thought I was going to slide on in and just be able to just run Pisces because I'd already finished counseling Scorpio. Got ready to meditate and I just felt the energy just to pick them cards up and lay some more down. I got some of the same messages, but it got a little deeper. And um in the midst of it getting a little deeper, I realized I was also told to change the order. To change it from Cancer Scorpio Pisces to Pisces Cancer Scorpio. And I then began to really meditate, 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 and really just sit here and just focus on the energy that I was getting ready to read and focus on what it was that I felt. And a part of me want to cry, but it's a piece of it, of crying, of from God. God give his toughest soldiers some of the hardest battles. But I promise you, at the end, y'all win the war. Y'all get it done. So let me first tell you, for people who don't have people in their life, tell them, I'm proud of you. I love you. And just keep going. Like you literally, abundance is them. It's peeking around your damn bushes. Like just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Y'all in nines and tens, keep going, okay? I hate long intros. Again, this is general. You need a personal. I'm not fully booked. Y'all know if you've had personals with me before, I respond quick, but we get it done quick. So, it's no long wait time. But let's get into it. First off, um, this is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And cross watchers. 
And also, check and see what y'all moon, whatever y'all moon energy is, whatever y'all moon signs are, this for everybody. Start, when y'all watching these videos, watch your moon sign. And you'll be, if you, you right now, I can guarantee you, I'm 99% sure your moon sign is going to resonate with you way more than your sun sign readers are. Something about this, this uh, Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio, Uranus going into Taurus. There's a new moon in Taurus today. So as above, so below. Capitalize on your creations. Anything that you are creating, you have to walk away from something or go through something before the door could be open to get to that point. So just know every hurdle is another piece of your puzzle of greatness to your greatness. Okay? So we rocking. Somebody, pretty, 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 please. Can somebody time snap, please? Thank you, man. Thank you. Let you watch that. That's why I love y'all. Shit. Y'all don't give me no grief. Except for Pisces. Y'all, if I take too long with the Pisces reading, y'all, y'all send a bitch email. <laughs> y'all give me right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I have to fix my boobies before the video because cancer gets me right with that, with they manage shit. Y'all so manage shit. Even the women. Well, you got some pretty manage. Some else, okay? Water babies. Y'all be, you know, don't drown me. <laughs> I the gay Pisces. Pisces, some of y'all could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I feel like if you're dealing with this person, this person is new. Some of y'all could be having stalkers. Some of y'all could have walked away from a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or if not just a sign, just a burdensome situation. Some of y'all could be dealing with Scorpio as well. But some of y'all, Pisces, y'all are going through a transformation and a big one. What is it that you want to do, Pisces? Y'all hanging in there, and y'all hanging in the situation from the mid-month of May. But like the energy now is just kind of hanging around and you hanging in there and sticking, holding tight to what it is that you're trying to create. OK, however, you're in your head about it. Like I feel like a lot of y'all are not getting any sleep. Some of y'all have rings around your eyes and you're wondering what the hell is these rings because you don't get enough sleep because you stay in your head. For, the, for those of you who have not walked away from your partner. From your karmic, that's who they are, your karmic partner, okay? Because you're going through this transformation. A lot of y'all are dealing with karmic energy, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with Aries Leo Sag. Strong emphasis on the Sagittarius as well. Some of y'all could be dealing with air signs though. But I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot of y'all are going to be moving away from this air sign. The divine is going to intervene and allow. Shit to hit the fan, okay? I'm straight up saying it like that. It's gonna allow shit to hit the fan in a situation that you've just been hanging around in, not getting clarity. Some of y'all have the clarity. You are very intuitive. You have the clarity that you need. You know damn well some of y'all should have been checked the fuck out, put your two weeks notice in, whether it's home, work, whatever, and got the fuck out and hit the door. But I feel like some of y'all know that this is your soulmate, but you're not aware. When people speak about soulmates, know this. Just because a person is your soulmate don't mean that they're supposed to stay in your life forever. Some soulmates come in. You have many soulmates in this life. Okay? And if you go and you're reincarnated and you come back, you're going to have a many more in that life because you got to sign a contract to deal with these people. Okay? To either walk away from these burdens or make things right. And in y'all case, Pisces, it's time for y'all to hit the door. Time to get these leeches i i was gonna call it a monkey on your back but y'all got a bunch of leeches around y'all they're energy leeches y'all tired and y'all keep going and it's people around y'all i feel like i'm dealing with the fire energy and the air energy it's people around y'all who see that you finna walk away from their ass and i feel like instead of trying to mend fences or instead of trying to make the situation a compromising situation, I feel like 
they just add into it and just sucking you completely bone dry. And I'm going to be very honest with you, Pisces. A lot of y'all are working on creating something. I don't know if it's um, music. Some of y'all may be finding out that y'all having babies. Some of y'all are pregnant. Congratulations. Some of y'all could be pregnant by a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And some of y'all could actually be finding out that y'all pregnant on y'all way out the door from this person. And some of y'all in y'all head like, well, wait a minute. I, 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 I know I need to leave with this person. Some of y'all might be finding out that this person got you pregnant on purpose so you wouldn't hit the door. I'm going to be honest with you. Just, that's, that's what it is. Okay? Some of these people, whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, they're very intuitive. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who possibly dreams, who possibly maybe have premonitions or something to that extent. And they've already seen you moving away because you got somewhere to be, okay? This is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. And I know you. I know that the divine is talking to you about making the move, Pisces, because I got there twice. This is what you're doing, but this is where you need to be. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo or another water sign, like yourself, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. But y'all are sitting on the cusp of creation and abundance in doing so. Y'all got a lot of haters. A lot of haters. I feel like y'all dealing with a childish energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or I feel like y'all being very, very, very defensive towards, or you have an air sign being very defensive towards you and that energy. Just even being in the midst of that energy is just draining because you are unhappy. It takes away from whatever it is that you, the energy that you want to put into creating. So mid-month May Pisces, a lot of y'all are going to be moving away. You're dealing with air. The air cards that I got here was the Page of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords, okay? And you're moving away. You're moving out of these times of not getting no sleep, being stressed the fuck out, not knowing which way is left, which way is right, because you're loyal. You're loyal to a motherfucker who just want to see you living in turbulence and living the same cycle over and over and over and over again, and you just want to be crazy. I just want to be great. I want to be great. I feel like if you're dealing with fire signs, you're dealing with air signs. Some of y'all could be dealing with air signs, got you stressed out. I feel like if you're dealing with fire, some of y'all could have been on y'all way out the door to make a decision. Some of y'all made a judgment call, and we'll be making a judgment call, but in the midst of you making a judgment call and hitting the door, some of y'all going to find out you're pregnant. So you're going to be in a, in, in a stage of, I need clarity. I don't know what to do. Trust your intuition. You don't have to stand by what tradition says. You have to stand. You don't have to live unhappy and be unhappy with a person just because you have a child with them. You can literally meet this person in the middle and take care of your child and still go and go do your thing and be happy. Go and go and create what it is that you want. Go get the offer that is the offer that you've been waiting for going through all this shit for. Go get your king. Your king of pinnacles, son. Whether that's a person or some coins, go get it because it's yours. It belongs to you, and you put your you put hard work in to get that. Do you understand? You put in hard work. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Some of y'all could be moving away from one fire sign to a new air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because the divine is going to help y'all a lot with a shake-up. A shake-up out this world. Because some of y'all going to find out that this person got you pregnant on purpose and you're going to be pissed. You are going to be pissed. Or this person, if it's not you, this person, you know what a fire sign, you could be finding out that this person that made a kid on y'all, on, on, on you since y'all been together. And that could hit the fan in this two-week period. It's all right, though, because all of this has happened. It's not for you to get sad. In fact, when you get your walking pass, when you get your get-out-of-jail-free card, honey, do your little dance, okay? Do your little dance and thank the universe. Thank the universe 
I got to get the hell up out of here. Thank you. I didn't, have to, I didn't even have to be the bad guy. See, because you're in your head about being the bad guy. The bad girl. You, you don't want to be the bad guy. But in order to live my dreams, baby, fuck who's talking, fuck what you heard, fuck who's not talking, fuck who's going to be mad, fuck who don't like what my decision is, because guess what? Ain't nobody, if they don't fuck, feed, or finance you, why do you care? And I can talk to my, 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 my Pisces like that, because you know we be here. If they don't fuck, feed, or finance you, why do you care? You shouldn't have any fucks to give, to be honest. That's the way to be. This gets the both of them. This, two different decks. I want to show y'all that. This and this, they don't show like how you get there. But this, this is how you get there. This is how you going to get there. Okay? You're going to get there by getting the fuck. And the divine even going to help you out. Shake it up a little bit. Make things interesting. Ironically, the Sagittarius full moon is on May 29th. Around that full moon, especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, don't be surprised if shit hit the fan. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of y'all been hanging around, waiting on clarity that you have already. You're very intuitive, Pisces. Some of y'all seen this fucking clarity last year because it's been time to hit the door. If especially if you're dealing with the earth, I mean air sign as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because it's time for your twin and your soulmate to come to, to hit the scene. Oh boy. And either you going to do it or the divine going to do it. Because you got greatness to get to. Whatever it was that you have been hanging around and patiently waiting and pushing and patiently waiting. And you just knew it was coming. You knew the day was going to come. When you get to let your nuts hang. That's what I've been saying lately. Most of them, 2019, I'm letting my nuts hang. You understand? I ain't got no nuts, but. I got a big imagination, so you can't tell me shit, okay? But who let me not say? You can be a female and let you not say. It's an expression. I'm from Texas. Look it up. Whatever it is that you created, whether it was music, poetry, um, I see clothes. Funny for these clothes that I see. I, I feel like I've seen them before. I see clothes. I see bags. I see hair. Hair designs. I see somebody's making something for. Disabled children. Wow, that's beautiful. You're going to be successful. Just keep pushing because you got to give them a sum to give them a sum. No vet, okay? All right. That's what I got for y'all, my Pisces. Y'all time step again for me, pretty please. If you need a personal reading, that information can be in the description. You can find it in the, you know what the hell I'm trying to say. Find the information in the description box. <laughs> cancer. My cancers. Cancers. Y'all know, I ain't gonna say y'all why I smile when I say cancer. I love y'all. Cancer. This is for my son who rides inside the cancers and they know the ears cross watchers. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. Y'all come in, let me know how this resonates. Cancers, a lot of y'all are having patience. Cancer, a lot of y'all are going through an awakening. An awakening. That's why y'all energy feel heavy like Pisces. Awakening. Some of y'all are ending cycles. Okay, and beginning new cycles. You're ending cycles possibly with um, 
with uh, Cancer, we've been dealing with Virgo. Feel like you're ending your karmic cycles with people. Especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries. I feel like in the past, this energy might have felt very burdensome to you. Or maybe you feel like you wasn't getting the just do. You wasn't getting where you wanted to go. And I feel like with some of y'all, I put you in a state of like insecurity. And when you thought you was insecure, what you didn't see was that the divine was building balance. Sometimes you gotta tear shit down in order to build it back up with a steady foundation. A foundation was being built through all your bullshit and your burdens. You possibly dealt with this fire sign or this earth sign through times that was just the shits, through your worst times that you deal with this person and you still, 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 still carry your own burdens and this person's burdens. And the divine says now it's an incident. It's an incident. I'm turning some things around. I'm going to give you a solid foundation. I'm going to give you a new beginning. And for some of y'all, it's a new beginning with this Aries. The beginning. This is how they work. The beginning and the end. He gonna go from rags to riches, baby. To your power. Especially for y'all who have maybe have Aries in your choice. Or maybe you're dealing with an Aries as a soulmate or a twin. Maybe at the beginning of this relationship, or knowing this person, only thing that relationship knows and your foundation knows in a worldly sense to you in the 3D form is burdens and trials and tribulations, even though you ultimately want, even though you know that this is where you're supposed to be given. A pass from the divine. An open door. Here you go, baby. Here's the key to your twin and your soulmate. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Leo as well. But I feel like y'all didn't have so much of a, a steady foundation in love. So I feel like a lot of y'all just been moving forward, carrying your own burdens. Some of y'all may have separated from this person, but in the midst of separating from this person, y'all were still holding y'all patient. Y'all were still having patience and just knowing, just knowing, I know this is me. I just feel it. The God in me feels it. Because the God up in heaven has given it to me. So a lot of y'all are having a lot of dreams and prophetic things be revealed to y'all in the midst of separation from this person. In the midst of this solid foundation being built. A lot of y'all third eye is booming right now. Y'all third eye is shopping right now. You just need to trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. You know how to move through the darkness, baby. Because some of y'all been walking through it for years. Some of y'all your whole damn life. Some of y'all don't even think you deserve this solid foundation. But the divine said, have patience, baby, because I'm going to take you. I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you. you have to, I had to shake your world up a little bit. But some of y'all, y'all could literally be moving away from someone. I feel like if y'all are dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot of y'all are feeling burdened, possibly by this person. This person is being burdened by you. And some of y'all ain't y'all head about hitting the door on their ass to go chase what it is that you want to do. Chase who it is that you truly want. And at this point, you don't have to chase. If it, with this solid foundation being built, this is not happening until you've already put your work in. You at the nine, you put your work in already. You put your work in. 
You put the work in with yourself and with this person. You put your work in. Hell, going to do through these burdensome situations and the constant come, go, come, go, come, go, come, go, come, go. You and this person had to put y'all that share damn work in. The soulmate that is. But I feel like this is the outcome of all of this. You walk from them burdens to your kingship. It's an offer that can't be refused. We just so mad. You twin. Y'all may leave if you're dealing with an air sign. I feel like this air sign is sticking around and hanging around. But I feel like some of y'all are not giving these people the clarity that they need. Because you're trying to hold all the burdens, do shit yourself, trying to push it together. I feel like y'all are building a plan. And putting a, 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 a plan in place to make sure you good. But don't be surprised if you get shipped out of your damn comfort zone trying to put a plan. You can't plan everything. You can't plan what was divinely orchestrated by the divine. You're just a puzzle piece, okay? Know that, Cancer. But a shakeup had to come and happen. This could be in the midst. This could be with this other person. This could be with your soulmate. Hell, your soulmate could be having issues with moving they could be having eviction issues or they could just literally be moving they're having to move from somewhere due to something due to just a, a shake up caused by the divine okay so a lot of y'all could be helping or moving away or moving towards helping your soulmate or moving away from a gemini leap of aquarius to go forward to go thun, da, 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 throw your cape on not knowing that this is this was <laughs> this was divinely orchestrated And if you don't know that the divine got you on the string, the string to your desires and what your heart wants, just trust the process. Trust the strings. Trust the strings. Some of y'all twins and soulmates could be dealing with someone else. Hell, that could be the shake up. Maybe they were dealing with uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have been dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. A lot of y'all just sat back. You didn't like it, but you sat back like, okay. It's me. This? This is? That's me. Some of y'all got in y'all head about it. It's a period now coming out of your head. Then my man, you're going to drop the burdens, come out of your head and go get your shit. I'm going to go get what's mine because I already know this is going on. Because the divine is going to show you. A lot of y'all are going to literally have dreams and possibly see this person's fucking shake up. Some of y'all have already seen it happen before it happened. Some of y'all even told the people to shake up come. So y'all just hanging around. No, I don't want to date nobody. No. Back up. Watch out a little bit. I don't want to date. I'm going to hang around. Chill. Because, see, you might not have the clarity that you need, so, man. But I got it. I know who you is. I know you belong to me. I know I got to get that to feel like this. I'm going to have patience. Because the only way to go is up. We started from the bottom. Now we here. Only way to go was up. They coming. Some of y'all, that Leo is coming. That Aries is coming. That Saggy is coming. This is where y'all at right now. We're coming out of this thing. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. Crazy part about it is, you can't say one reader. Same thing with Pisces. I'm noticing my water signs. All y'all have major iconics when y'all read it. Cancer, in your reading, you have temperance, you have the world, you have the emperor, you have the hermit. <laughs> you got the towel down here, it's clarifiers, and you have the hangman. Just hang in there, have patience. 
because it's the ending of that cycle with all that turbulence and no stability and not knowing which way is left and which way is right and you leaving me and all of this. That shit is over. It's so May season. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Cause they coming, Council. You better get ready, get ready, get ricky ricky ready, honey. Okay? You better get ready, cause y'all know my twins are counseling. <laughs> when Michael gets ready, I don't care who you who you talking to, I can keep the dough down. You understand? A whole savage. If you're dealing with Aries or Leo, or say y'all you're dealing with fire, you know, y'all know y'all not already if y'all feel like this, okay? Y'all already know. Y'all already know. We don't play that shit at this point. We we, we come and get what's ours. We act a, we show our bucket naked. Okay? So, just know. But it's the end of all of that. It's the end of all of that. Not both parties have the clarity that they need. A lot of y'all are getting the balance that you need. Both of you and your soulmate. You and your twin. To get out of this energy. We got one last fight, baby. I'm going to fight this great fight. Push through. And here I come. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Cancel, I should listen. See your soulmate. See your twin flame a message. Say, bad boys, bad boys. What you going to Twin flame soulmate. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? You're going to be like, crazy ass. The fuck? You been drinking? You on one? <laughs> Tell them you're going through an awakening. You get an excuse. Well, every crazy damn thing you do this month, stay canceled. You're going to have to get some people together. I can tell you that too. Y'all going to get some people together this month. Get out my motherfucking business. Get out my business. Don't worry about what I got going on. Don't get, don't, 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 don't get it twisted. I'm still a beast. I'm still a whole beast out here. I just been having patience. Grounded myself. Bring the balance back into my life. I'm trying to get my shit together. Okay? I'm trying to get my soulmate. Get us right. The divine already just showed me. I have a prosperous new beginning on the way. This, this, that's me right there. I'm just letting y'all borrow it or whatnot. But what, the, what you gonna do, soulmate, when I come for you? Because I see I'm finna have to throw my cape on. And the divine gonna give me everything I need. Even when you don't have the clarity. To throw my cape on. And I'm throwing my cape on in order to pave the way for this. If you're dealing with somebody, your twin flame, your soulmate, possibly going through living issues, moving issues, things of that nature. This is all divinely orchestrated, baby. Love and the coin is on the way to my water, baby, after this awakening and this transformation. Cancers just keep going, baby. Keep going. You at the nine. Keep going. Fight that last fight. Stay with your mother in chest. When I said that, 3333 uh, 33, flew on my screen. Whatever that means, something to me. I love y'all. That's what I got for my cancer. Have patience. Temper yourselves. Watch your temper this month too. Cancers. Strong emphasis on cancer. Watch your temper. You can come too far to go backwards. Blessings on blessings on blessings is on the way to you. Just know it. You know it. Because you've seen it already. If you haven't, you will be. Scorpio. Hey, Scorpios. How y'all doing? And I got to watch how I handle y'all, because y'all, y'all still. <laughs> yeah, Scorpios did this hell, but y'all mean well. And y'all very passionate and love from an unconditional place. One with purity. I like like a kid and shit. I fuck with that. Scorpio, y'all just want some money. I just I just want some money. 
Some of y'all, and you have this attitude, I feel, after possibly feeling betrayed or stabbed in the back, or possibly just feeling totally heartbroken, heartbroken from a soulmate situation. You haven't went there, you haven't gone there, if it's not going on now, because for some reason I noticed that my readings, my energy be right there with y'all. Even though this is from the 15th to the 31st, I swear it be right there with y'all for some reason. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini. But outside the sign, some of y'all could have had to move away from the soulmate due to finances. But what you did know was the teacher, mother, mother had to put you in place. Mother was setting you up. The high priestess, balance too. Balance was being restored back in your life. Through this burning from situation, this brought you your passion, this brought you your balance, this brought the beast out you. Love is like a drug, baby. One of the hardest feelings that you ever have to shake. I feel like y'all were dealing with a soulmate situation. Soulmate who y'all wanted abundance with. However, what you did know is some of y'all could have been dealing with a past life partner as well, past life relationship. Y'all have to go. Y'all sign a contract to come here, Scorpio. To clear that karma. Y'all, a lot of y'all are walking away. Y'all got two tears in the reading, too. Beginning. Ending something to beginning. So, you had to feel this to clear that karmic up. You owe the universe one. It was time to pay some karmic debt. You owe the one. Okay? After clearing that karma, something about that karmic relationship with your soulmate, okay? For some of y'all, this could have been a twin flame. For some of y'all, this was just a soulmate. But for some of y'all, it was definitely a twin that you was dealing with. Some of y'all have no idea that that was even your twin or your soulmate. Some of y'all do know. A lot of y'all are getting clarity through your dreams. And getting clarity, possibly through music and through songs, and just kind of coming around people and being enlightened. And you just, I feel like life in the midst of you moving away from this person. I feel like y'all tried to fight and fight for the relationship. However, finances was an issue. So I feel like somebody got cut out, and maybe the communication with the cut out. Just wasn't so live. Maybe the communication just was all wrong. Somebody didn't know how to talk to somebody. So somebody left. Somebody moved away. Somebody will be moving away and leaving their twin flame or their soulmate. But the thing is, I feel like if y'all, a lot of y'all just left a soulmate, but you left this soulmate to go to your twin. So some of y'all could have been dealing with, some of y'all could have been dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Some of y'all could have been dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel like whatever this is, a shakeup had to hit the fan for you to move away, move out of your comfort zone, move, move away from that which is comfort for you. Okay. A lot of y'all needed this shakeup to occur. For some of y'all, the Sagittarius full moon is going to be very interesting for y'all. A lot of y'all could find out some information that you weren't aware of that could really, really, really make you feel very betrayed. And if y'all haven't, haven't moved away from that burden for situation, that person you will be because you're going to get the clarity that you need mid-month of May. Some of y'all possibly could have already moved away. But in the midst of moving away around that full moon time, that full moon is that iridescence, that illumination is going to illuminate some things. I'll let you know you were dealing with the soulmate. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo. Some of y'all could meet the Leo. But y'all got to understand, before you can move forward and move into your greatness, you got to be willing to pay your debts, man. You got to pay your debts, man. And I promise, I promise, the coin is a coming. It is a coming.
If it's a comedy, in fact, you're going from the nine to the king. The king of pentacles. And after the king of pentacles, then you get your happy wife, happy life. But first you're going to get some clarity and get, some, get, get your life. Because a lot of y'all are going through a transformative period. What well, once worked for you is not working for you no more. If you the type of person to possibly, let's say, for example, if you the type of person who you never had your own place, your only roommate, a ah, roommate here, roommate there, I roommate with you, roommate with you, roommate with you. So the lovers that you attract are always people who have their own shit. So you constantly go through a, get your ass out. Or you can get your ass out of my house. Or you can get your ass out. Or for that matter, if you a woman, you know, maybe you are a woman who feels like, you know, well, traditionally my daddy took care of my mama. You know what I'm saying? So a man should take care of me. And you constantly dealing with men who are fucking narcissists who treat you like shit, but you need them financially. You get what I'm saying? It's about you getting out of that comp getting out that comfort zone, getting out your comfort zone. Cause you've had years of fucking clarity. You you tired of you you should be tired of pushing repeat. Get off of repeat. Life is taking the divine is taking y'all off repeat. Okay, repeat is not available because you got somewhere to be. One with the soulmate with an open heart and understanding and truth. Not manip manipulation ain't working for people no more. Okay, know that. You or whoever you're dealing with, it's done. Manipulation is done. Because I feel like some of y'all met y'all match on the manipulation tip. I, I'm looking at this 10 list. This 10 and this 10, the fact that they back to back. Karma, Mother Karma serves y'all. I feel like a beautiful, badass dish. You understand? But it helped you get your life. It helped you to heal. It helped you get to the root of the issue and why you keep, why your life keep being on repeat. Different, different people with the same ass script. It was a blessing and a lesson. And if you ain't seen your blessing yet financially, you're getting ready to. In love, you're getting ready to. But you're not going to find it in your comfort zone. A lot of y'all are a little weary. Like, I don't know what the hell is to come here to shake up. Because y'all own damn self. Y'all mind. For some of y'all, well, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is coming. Move. I can't stay with you. I got to move on my own. What the fuck? What the? Job? I lost my job. I, what the fuck? I need that place. I need what the divine been showing you that you have somewhere to be. You need to follow your life purpose and I'll open up doors, open up windows and let the gates of and let the gates of financial abundance abundance flood you so much that you ain't got nowhere to sit in your own damn home. You have to buy a new one of them too. But you gotta trust the process, man. If if this person that you want if it's this soulmate that you want, nothing is going to be given to you anymore. You have to work for that. Get out your own way and trust the process, man. Because that pot of gold is at the end of that rainbow. But it had the rain first. Water babies. Hold on, baby. Change is coming. Mother Cuomo won't, Mother Cuomo won't let just do though. Let it go to get something. Trust the process. You can't always control the things that will bring you ultimate abundance. But you can control how the hell you play the cards in the game. You understand? The cards that you was dealt. I love y'all. I send y'all much light. Many, many, many blessings and much love. Much abundance. Trust the process and don't be afraid. For all three of y'all, all three of y'all, trust y'all intuition because it's booming right now. Trust your dreams because they're booming right now. Trust premonitions and trust that nothing happens by coincidence. You meet people and they say some of the damnedest things because God is trying to tell you something. Trust that. It's booming right now. But y'all got somewhere to be. And beautifulness, that's where. As soon as I said that, it was four, 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 four. What that means is somebody balanced. 
balance builds the base. Focus. Trust the process. Trust your intuition. Get that clarity. And when you get that clarity, don't get caught in your feelings. What you learn from it. That is the question. Take what you got for the information, not for the emotion. My twin, the cancer, taught me that. In the midst of bullshit. With no solid foundation. God trust that project. Trust that process, man. I love y'all, babies. Y'all need the personal reading? Hit me up. Shoot me an email. It's mocha in love at gmail.com. I love y'all, my babies. Until June the 1st, trust the process and keep it moving. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Mocha supports you, baby. Keep going. I'm your biggest fan. Keep going. It's light at the end of the tunnel. You can't see it shining? Are you? Is that y'all shining? That's y'all shining. Bright like a diamond, honey. You better believe it. <laughs> gotta get on my fire baby behind. So hopefully I ain't gotta get the bill. But I love y'all. Hit me up. Comment. Let me know how this resonates. Mm.